Hello everyone, this is Stunt Collector here with another action figure review. And here we have the Deadpool and Negasonic Teenage Warhead figures here. So let's go over to packaging here. So first you get the Marvel Legends logo on the top here. I don't know. Hello, Mister. I don't know what that one's supposed to be. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, Wade Wilson, duh. Uh, oh, Ellie. They're saying their last names. I get it now. So Negasonic Teenage Warhead, Deadpool. You get the X logo here in the corner with the Lego I mean, with the um, Deadpool logo sticker over it, and then you get that 14 plus there, uh, and then you get the X logo there with another. Deadpool sticker covering the Marvel Legends logo. And then here you get the Negasonic Teenage Warhead silhouette. And then on the left side, same deal. Here's the Deadpool silhouette and Deadpool silhouette on this side. And then here's the bottom with the DCBI. But besides that, let's crack them open. And here's Deadpool and Negasonic Teenage Warhead out of the packaging here. So first let's start off Negasonic Teenage Warhead because she doesn't have as, as many um, accessories. So first she comes with these like little flame uh, accessories here that go around her arms. I'll do that here in a bit. And then she comes with a pair of fisted hands, which she has on right now, one of them. So that's cool. And then she has one that is kind of like relaxed or trying to bend something. So yeah, you get a little bit of paint chipping there, or I did. So, eh, oh well. And there's that. And then here's Negasonic Teenage Warhead here. So, first to start off with is her face. I think she looks a little cockeyed there. You get the earring there. Or I should have called her Justin Bieber. Um, but they did a good job. It looks quite a lot like her, except for that eye is a little off. Now looking straight like the other one. Um, but the hair looks good. Um, and yeah. And you get these gray shoulder pads here. You get the yellow X uniform that she wore in Deadpool 2. Get the belt here with the little spikes, I guess. So that's cool. And then you get more of the yellow design there throughout the rest of the figure. And nothing real special after all those. And then the hands, actually. You get that little yellow there. And then a silver line there for knuckles. And you get more of the texturing. Whoops, there we go. You get more texturing throughout there. That's sculpted. Um, and then is there anything else? You get a little bit of mis uh, paint bleeding through the black there. Um, nothing really else besides all that. Oh, and this is a separate piece. So if you want to, you can take that off if you want. Um, and then, yeah. Let's go over the articulation here. So her head, she has a ball and disc joint so she can get her head to go down that far, up that far. And I think you get a little, no, not, not a whole lot of this movement here. Um, you get her look left and right. Um, she has a little bit of head pivoting, which is nice. Uh, her shoulders can move out just that far. You get 360 rotation. I'm a little worried about the elbow joint. I was a little afraid because it looks super skinny. It's like a little stick. So I think what I'm doing is just doing that. And it only goes to, to 90 degrees like that. Um, then you get 360 rotation around there. I just want to be careful because th this one I think is the skinniest arm I've ever gotten from a Marvel Legends figure, which I think actually is accurate to her. But yeah, her wrist can hinge down that far, up that far in 360 rotation there. She has a ball joint at the diaphragm, so the ball front, uh, uh, diaphragm joint, so she can go forward like zero. You don't even get any movement forward. Backwards, just a little bit. Uh, you get a little side to side motion. You get her to go 360 rotation around there. Her legs could kick out just a little bit there. Forward, not quite there. Um, backwards, zero. She does have a thigh cut. She has double jointed knees. So yeah, uh, she does have a shin cut. Uh, she has ankle pivot. So you go down that far, or an ankle. She, her ankles can hinge, I mean, up this far and a nice ankle pivot this time. And for the flames, you just wanna do that. And one more thing about the flames, they're transparent. So 
I meant translucent, so it's not gonna. It's gonna look a lot more like flames, which I like a lot. And yeah, you get the flames on your arms like that, so that's pretty cool. And the one that everyone's been waiting for, Deadpool. So first, let's start off with his accessories because he has a crap load. So first, to start off with, which is the best one, uh, the pony. Uh, so yeah, you get the I mean that unicorn or whatever you want to call it. So it has blue eyes. They did a good job on texture or sculpt there. Uh, it's not articulated, but soft plastic. Um, you get the little horn there, gold. But yeah, that's really it. Um, and next, let's start off with the hands because there's a bunch of them. So first, he comes with two pistol holding hands, and they have that gray thing there. The gray. Uh, arm guards, hand guards, whatever you want to call them. So that's cool. And they move the side to side instead of up and down. Uh, and then it has the ka two katana holding hands. So that's cool. Same deal, but this time it's going up and down. Um, and then as he has two fisted hands, and I don't know why they did this, but there's, they didn't paint the silver on these ones. So that's a little iffy for me i don't know why they did that and then it has two uh like waving hands or whatever hands i guess um relaxed hands i don't know what you want to call them i'm pretty sure you just call them waving hands or wall crawling hands um but yeah they did the same thing they didn't paint the silver on top of there so that's a bummer um and then i believe yeah that's it for the hands and then he comes with these two pistols they're not i don't know why they did this it's not an actual pistol or maybe you can and just it, the only reason why it doesn't look like that is because of the muzzle here but still it looks like a more of a blaster like a space blaster for me i don't know why i i think it kind of reminds me a little too much of the i forgot what that guy's name is but yeah I'll, I, I have another problem with about these here in the sec but yeah i'll let you uh, you'll see in a bit but yeah you get two of these so yeah and you, you come with these two katanas these are different these are brand new so they're way more realistic they're very narrow and skinny and then you get these cool grips here really cool so yeah you get two of those uh, but besides that that's all we got for accessories so here's deadpool here so they did a really good job on them i think they had like all the sculpts and stuff throughout the head here. Like it, it has that leather texture to it. So that's cool. And you get that little thing in the back like he does. You get the sword holders here, which is very accurate. Um, and it's strapped on. You get the belt here with this Deadpool logo there for the belt. You get a bunch of pockets and stuff like that. So that's cool. And yeah, here's the problem here. So instead of giving this holsters to put them in, they gave us holsters that already have guns in them, but they're glued in. I think I saw someone that was able to take them out, like they were separate pieces, but I don't want to ruin the figure, so I'm not going to do that. But I don't know why they did this. I wish they just give, given us these pistols and then made a holster so we could put them in instead of just gluing them in there for us. Or so that way we don't have any more guns, I guess. But yeah, I don't know why they did that. It's kind of stupid to me. Uh, and then he has an, another one like that on the other side. So that's a bummer. Um, and then, yeah, uh, you get the little knee pads here with the black lining. The, they keep it really consistent throughout the texturing for, through the red areas to make it give it more leather look here. And then here's the black areas. So, and then this looks pretty correct arms here you get that little bracelet going there oops there we go um and then yeah you get that little shin guards here for him the boots i'm not sure if these were gray or red in the movie i'm not quite sure i don't remember i thought they were gray but yeah and then uh you get this little neck piece here but it's not I don't think it's a separate piece, so you can't take it off or anything like that. But that's all we got for accessories here. 
And yeah, you cannot take this off or anything like that. It stays on there because Deadpool has them on you know, uh, all the time. So there's no point of you taking it off anyways. They do a good job on the strap here. Looks really good. I'm not sure if these the pockets were gray. I mean, if they're black or brown, I think it's... I think they were brown, but I'm not quite sure. But yeah, let's go over the articulation here. So they did add one more cool thing about this figure that they didn't do with any other Marvel Legends here in the sec. So he does have a ball joint, a double ball joint on top of the head here. So he can only look up just that much and then down that much. But then he has another ball joint at the bottom of the neck like G.I. Joe figures. So you can get him to go backwards just a little bit more and you can look up just a little bit more. And then down just a little bit more too. You can't really tell, but yeah, you can kind of see it there. So yeah, and then you get lie head pivoting there. So that's cool. And you get left and right movement. Um, and yeah, and then you get his shoulder screw out that far. You can get them to do a 360 rotation. He has butterfly joints here. So that's cool. good. He does have a bicep swivel. He has double jointed elbows and they're going with the uh, pinless joints here again, which I really hope they just keep that continu continuing throughout the other figures now. Uh, his wrist can hinge up that far down that much and 360 rotation. And for the other ones, it will probably be the same thing for going side to side for his pistol holding hands. Um, he does have an ab crunch so you can go forward that much backwards that much but the the sword holders kind of get in the way he has a waist swivel so you can even go a 360 rotation around there um his legs could kick out that far because the pistol kind of gets in the way there and goes up to the belt so it kind of stops right there he could kick forward pretty far he could kick backwards actually quite a bit more than usual uh for marvel legends uh, he has a thigh cut. He has double jointed knees. I don't know why they didn't do the pinless joints here for him though. So that's a little bummer, but it's not going to bother me that much. He has no shin cut. Um, his ankles can hinge down quite a, a bit there. Uh, his ankles can move up a lot. And he has good ankle pivot. And I believe, I thought I was missing one more piece. Am I missing one more piece? Oh. Let me check my package here again. I thought I was... Yeah, I am missing one more piece. So, yeah, he does... I was thinking that I was going crazy for a second there. He does have a knife. Good thing I checked my packaging. So, yeah. That's really cool. And so, for the knife, that's where it kind of triggered me there for a second. Um, yeah, you just put slide that in there. And for the pistols, you can't really do anything besides have them hold them. Uh, for the swords... You just slide him in like this. I'm going to have him holding his sword. So, yeah. Or maybe not. I don't know. I'm thinking about it for my display right now. I think you want to get them in. Yeah, probably this way. Yeah, probably this way. So, yeah, you get those swords there. And, yeah. And that's all we got for that. And here's all the Marvel Legend figures through the X-Men waves. And here's Deadpool next to all the other versions of himself. So I think both of these figures are really cool figures. I am really happy with the Deadpool one a lot, except for that one problem with the pistols and the holsters. But, I mean, oh well, they, you can't really do much besides fix it yourself, I guess. Uh, hopefully they'll release, like, a X-Men uh, Deadpool version of Colossus. That would be pretty cool. Um, and then Negasonic Teenage Warhead, I don't know how I feel about her. She's a little, I mean, she looks good. She looks good, uh, but the articulation I'm not real happy about. But uh, it's a, it's okay, I guess for me. Um, but uh, besides that, these are pretty much these two are really cool. Um, I'm, but I'm way more happy about the Deadpool one myself. Um, but besides that, that's all I've got. <laughs>